Hey guys, so I thought I'd do this quick video. It's basically a look at my Switch six to seven months down the line after release date, what games I've got on it, what games I've ordered in general, and even off of the eShop as well. So, as you can see, this is my screen. So I'm just gonna move this slightly back, there we go. So, first of all, I have Discara 5. Um, I have this on hard copy and I'm absolutely loving this game, it's so much fun. I've also got Pokken Tournament DX which recently came out on the 22nd, so that's this Friday just gone. It's amazing and I would really recommend that one. I've got Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, again I'm really enjoying that game, it's actually the first time I've ever really owned a Mario Kart game and played it personally. And yeah, it's actually really fun and I'm really, really enjoying that. I've got 1-2 Switch and to be honest with you, 1-2 Switch is literally just... It, it's there for like party games and if I go around friends' houses who have small children, I wouldn't recommend it in general. It's pretty much like the Wii game and the Wii U kind of novelty games. It's not brilliant and I really feel like I paid far too much money for that game. It should have been kind of like an add-on game like Wii Sports was for the Wii. So the next game that I've got is Splatoon 2. I absolutely adore Splatoon, trying to find all the amiibos for Splatoon 2. But yes, I would really recommend this game and it's so much fun. The Turf Wars are just brilliant. I spent hours and hours on this game. So I've also got Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. So I would really recommend this game, it's a lot of fun, but then what I would say is it's a lot of tactics. So it is actually very tactics based, so like my friend's seven year old wanted to play it and to be honest with you I think it would have been a little bit too difficult for him to play and understand. He kind of anticipated it was a Mario game in the sense of the word, so just a typical moving along, jumping on blocks and stuff. See this is a little bit more in depth than that. But I do really recommend it and I absolutely love it. I love the way the rabbits look and I actually really enjoy the way Peach Rabbit looks and Yoshi Rabbit looks. They're awesome. So you can actually get those in big statues as well, um, exclusively at game. I think it's $49.99, which I have got Mario one and I'm just looking to get the others. So yeah. So this game is called Voice, Vo I, I believe. It is actually completely touch screen. It's really fun. It's a music based game. So that is awesome. So basically, it's pretty much like Final Fantasy theatrical and bits and bobs like that. But yeah, I would really, really recommend this one. It's like one of my favourites. I believe it was $15.99 off the eShop. Um, and yeah, it's definitely, I'm so happy that I actually bit the bullet and bought it because I've been looking at it for a while. So then you have this one, which is Namco Museum Pac-Man versus free multiplayer on <laughs> only version. So this is actually a free download. So I just downloaded it mainly because it's free and I was just like, a free game is awesome. Um, I believe I played it once online and it's pretty good. You can only do like one mode online and then the rest is like you have to buy. But just a little extra, it's always good. Then I have got the Global Test Punch Arms. Um, I downloaded this obviously because I wanted to test arms out and unfortunately I never actually got a chance to do so, which kind of sucks. This was only between a certain weekend as well, but I just haven't got around to getting taking that off of my screen at the moment. Then I have Zelda Breath of the Wild. This is an amazing game. I absolutely adore it. I've actually just pre-ordered the limited edition uh, little figures, the new amiibos, the four champions, I absolutely love them as well. Um, yeah, I, I think this game is awesome, I've got the limited edition of this game, but yeah, I would definitely recommend this one, I'm sure you guys have heard so much and plenty about this one anyway, so. So the next one I have, oh, excuse me, is I have Super Bomberman R. This is a very good game, it is actually incredibly difficult and I was actually quite shocked how difficult this one was. Um, the If you're playing with your mates in the co-op mode that's not too bad, but the story mode on this one is incredibly difficult um, and that's coming from an experienced gamer. 
I did find it like the boss fights quite difficult but I will persist with it and I will get there eventually. So the next one I have is the demo for Snipper Clippers. I really want this game and I did ask for this for my birthday but I didn't get any games for my birthday unfortunately. But yeah, Snipper Clippers is amazing and they are actually and have announced a new Snipper Clippers so I might wait till that comes out and just buy the whole lot all as one kind of like download because that probably is best to be fair. So I'm just going to double check if I have got anything else, which I do. So then the next thing I actually have is Splatoon Global Test Fire. I played this one absolutely loads and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, that's what made me go and buy Splatoon 2. That again was over a certain period of time. I just haven't deleted it. And then I have this one, which is ACA Neo Geo Wacky Wacku Wacku Wacku. Seven. So this is just an arcade game. It's really fun and it's just a fighting Japanese game. I said the characters are quite funny and I really enjoy it. So definitely worthwhile picking up. I think it was only like a couple of quid as well. So if I go onto my main screen and I'm gonna go right over to here at the moment because I've got this cart in. The only thing I would say on here is don't forget to go click the plus button and bring this information up. If you go onto this information and you go down to my Nintendo reward program, you can click here and earn game card version only rewards. So they're not brilliant. They basically are subject to this website here. So you go on there and you can get backgrounds and stuff like that and free download codes as well as money off of games and stuff like that. It's not brilliant and at the moment they haven't got anything to do with the Nintendo Switch on there. It's all stuff which is based upon the Wii U and the 3DS's at the moment. But if you've got one of those consoles and you've earned a few points then you might as well get something for free. They do have a couple of indie games on there and they also have quite a few of the backgrounds. I just ordered I just got a Pokemon gold and silver background for 100 points, which, or 100 silver points, make a pardon, because it's silver and gold points. But yeah, it's one of those things you might as well kind of pick them up if you can. But don't forget to go on here and do this, and you can just click this button to take it off. But let me know what you think of my orders so far, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this one. But I will see you guys later on tonight for my PJ broadcast. So, bye.